it is another lovely friday so today i'm doing friday conversation obviously and the questions for this week is one they wanted to know what was my story and the other question that i get a lot is do you know mrs 5000 watts so today i'm gonna lay it out there for you So it's Friday, it's Friday, it's the end of the week and the last day. The DJs on the radio play that song and then they kind of rap whatever it is that they're going to do for the weekend. That's where I got that from. Something, 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 it's on you. I'm going to get my party on and I'm going to get my drink on and I'm going to get my dance on this weekend, this weekend. Now you guys know, but I don't really have any plans. I just felt like saying that. So today I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about myself. Also, I keep getting asked about Mrs. me and Mrs. 5000 Watt. So I'll tell you about her and I as well. But uh, the first thing, I am from Atlanta. I am Atlanta born and bred. Now, I haven't always lived here in Atlanta. I stay here now, but I lived in Atlanta. I stay in Atlanta. I stayed in Colorado for a while. I stayed in Texas for a while. I stayed in california for a while mississippi so i've been quite a few places in the u.s now one thing people don't know i know like saying that how oh, i'm a nerd you know nerdy this nerdy that you know it's the cool thing now you just wear the big black glasses with no lenses in it and you know that's what you consider nerdy but i have been nerding out since before being nerdy was cool like Honestly, if you look at my hard drive, let me let me let you know what I got on there. I watch Known Universe, uh, Discoveries of the Universe, uh, basically any universal or planetary uh, video that's out there. I watch it. Like I, honestly, if I had the right push in high school, I would have been an astronomer instead of that. So if you ask me any. Uh, astrological question or anything that has to do with outer space I swear to God I'm gonna rip it off the head right then so that's one big thing the other thing is I'm a huge Star Trek fan like I've watched every Star Trek uh, series except for the first one the original Star Trek Captain Kirk oh my god Spock and did you see that like I, I can't stand it plus I'm big on CG and they didn't, you know, it's really crappy back then. But I've watched every series, I mean, from beginning to end. Even right now, I'm watching Enterprise. And that's the worst Star Trek I've ever seen in my life. I mean, Star Trek series that I've ever seen in my life. But I'm always watching something in that realm. Um, the other thing you guys know, I'm a huge sci-fi fan. Like, I'm going to give you the list of stuff that I will pay to go see, all right? The only movies that I will go pay and see either have to have robots, they have to have aliens, it has to either take place in space, it has to have either some kind of alternate future or alternate reality, something along that line. It has to either have zombies or it has to have horror. That's the only movies that I play. I play to, I pay to escape reality. I don't want to take on somebody else's. He's cheating on hers. I don't want to. I'm not paying to go see that. So those are the only movies that I will actually pay to watch. All right. So as far as my gaming history is concerned, I play just about anything like from back in the day, I can beat Super Mario World backwards and forward. That's the like probably the last game that I completed like a hundred percent out like, completed. But as far as Xbox is concerned, I play Madden heavy. So when the new Madden comes out, best believe I'll be on that. Uh, 2K. I really hadn't been on either one of those this year because I traveled so much. It just really I, I didn't have the chance to. Now that I'm back home, I can play whatever I want to um call of duty i've been playing since cod 4 now I, I played cod 1 and cod 2 i didn't play cod 3 but multiplayer i've been on since cod 4 so got extensive history in that uh probably one of my favorite games of all time was fallout 3 that game was effing amazing like i will even go back and replay that like that's the last 
if you check my gamer score, that's probably one of the games that I almost 100% outplayed. That game was amazing. So I loved Fallout. Pretty much any shooter worth its salt, I'll play. Uh, also, if you guys have any recommendations about stuff, please feel free to leave it down there in the comment section. Uh, as far as YouTube is concerned, I've only been doing this since about January or so. Now, again, I was traveling a lot, so I didn't have the real opportunity to upload. I could only do it when I was home, so that was only on weekends. So it's only been this, like this last month or so, month and a half, that I've really actually started putting stuff on there as well. Oh, and also, so I'm at like, what, almost 400, like three and some change. But my goal in the next two months is maybe like seven or 800. But if I hit a thousand guys, truthfully, one of these three women will come into your life. If I hit a thousand and you're married, your wife will turn into one of these three women. She may even turn into all three of them. If you are single, one of these women or all three of these women are going to walk up to you and let you know that she loved you she wants to be with you forever if you're too young for any of that then i guess they'll turn into your babysitter or something but let's keep my finger my finger crossed let's keep all of our fingers crossed for all of our sake that i hit a thousand in two months see we only like music that rhymes so the next question i get asked all the time and understandably so is do you know mrs 5000 watts and of course i know mrs 5000 watts and if you don't know my gamer tag is mike 5000 watts spelled with o's not zeros and hers is mrs 5000 watts spelled with o's and not zero i think it's miss now she's a liberated woman so she does what she wants so we've been knowing each other about three and a half years uh we dated heavy for about two and a half years i asked her to marry me about six months ago things led to things and the rest is history so the next question i get asked is which came first mike or mrs 5000 watts and on youtube it's mrs 5000 watts she's been doing it about a year and a half i think she got really big around uh december or so when she did the video with uh, Chris Move, and she got like 35,000 subscribers from his uh, video, which is pretty awesome. I need that type of boost. But on Xbox, it was Mike who came first. So the way it started out is her and I dated, and back then I was playing like Modern Warfare 2 or something, and she didn't really like it. She was a PC gamer. She played Guild Wars. So then um, Black Ops came out, and while I was at work, she would play back Black Ops. So she got a big head start, and she got really, really good at Black Ops. So at that time, she was traveling from England to the U.S. So when she got back to England, she made a gamer tag that said Mrs. 5000 Watts. She had bought an Xbox and everything. So we were the couple Mike 5000 Watts and Mrs. 5000 Watts. And that's where that all came from. See, we only like music that rhymes. So the first thing I want to say is thank you to everybody that has watched and tuned in. I truthfully appreciate it. Okay, guys, I really, really do appreciate you tuning in. Also, remember, we're trying to get what? 1,000 and two months. And if we do, remember, the ladies will come. These three right here will come to you in a dream or wherever it is. But it's really going to happen. <laughs> And if you're new to the channel, please click subscribe. If you don't click subscribe, guess what? Your computer will self-destruct. And who wants to buy a new computer? I mean, seriously, I wouldn't want that for you. You know, of course, I'm not buying it. But as always, guys, I want to say thank you. Leave your comments down there, please. I always read them. And thanks a lot, y'all.